Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop 2020 tutorial. Guys, this one I'm going to show you the new patterns window. I'm going to show you how to do a few cool things with patterns and particularly the new functionality that's in Photoshop 2020. I've got Photoshop 2020 and 2019 open here. If you go into 19 and you go to window, you are not going to see patterns. You see paths and properties. When you go into 2020 like I am here, Patterns is there. Let's left click on it. Make sure there's a check mark beside it. Perfect. It opens up over here for me, but it could be somewhere else on your um, in your Photoshop, depending on how you've got your uh, stuff set up. So real quickly here, I've got a layer here, just a 1000 by 1000 layer, just nothing. And to get to the point to apply a pattern, simple, just select one of these patterns and bang it is automatically applied and you'll see here it's applied as a pattern fill you don't need a tutorial really to teach you that although it's cool to know there's uh, patterns but here's the other thing guys you can actually bring in some of these new patterns like I'm looking at the trees some of these grass ones like there's a lot of really cool stuff here like I want to apply the the trees one here boom cool right that's a pretty nice looking pattern somebody spent some time with that let's take a look at some other features while I got you here again it's applied as a pattern fill but if you double click on this thumbnail here you're gonna see that you can actually go ahead and change the scale so if I want to say 45 percent 50 30 percent you'll see here that as we we can go in and out uh, it is a proper pattern it is actually really really cool I like this 56 percent that's a cool looking pattern if you ask me. I also want to um, show you guys here that this hamburger menu over at the top right here is these four lines. You may not be seeing what I see and the reason why is you don't have the default patterns automatically or the legacy patterns probably applied. So if you want to, you can import your own patterns. You can make your own patterns or you can restore default patterns. I'm going to go ahead and import some patterns. I don't know. I don't even have any. No. Anyways, that's how I would do it if I wanted to do that. Uh, the other thing here is the legacy patterns. When you drag and drop that down, assuming you've uh, you've got the legacy pattern selected, you'll see here that there's a whole bunch of really, really cool ones. Like, let's take a look at, I like the wood ones. So if you're clicked on the layer like I am now, and you just left click on the other pattern, it automatically applies it, and when I double click on it, you'll notice that it's also kept at 56%. So that was the scaling that we did in the other one. So again, guys, there's no real rocket science here, but if you're new to Photoshop or you wanna apply the pattern stuff, this is how you do it. I've got some one more other thing I wanna show you. I've got this pattern here. I'm gonna drag and drop it and create a new, a new uh, uh, Photoshop uh, document here, and you'll see that I've got this here. Watch this. Now, here's where it gets fun. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to create a new group and I'm going to call it uh, paper. And in the paper group, I can go ahead now. And if this is like black crumpled paper, for example, I'm going to go now and click on this little plus square with a button and it says create new pattern. And I'm going to call this black crumpled paper. And then under paper, I've gone ahead and created a new pattern. So if I make a new document, a thousand by a thousand with whatever, uh, let's do a white background. This is just, uh, we're just playing along here for fun. And I was to close the patterns, or I was to open patterns. You'll notice here that under paper, I've got that set up. If I was to just go ahead and drag and drop that on, boom, we've got your texture, we've got your pattern basically, ready to go, ready to use, reusable for as long as you see fit. As long as you got the file, guys, you can reuse this. So if you if you want to make some, you know, if you if, if black paper or crumpled paper or you create your own pattern that's really, really cool, guys, you can go ahead and throw it in there. You get your own pattern, put it in the library. You're on your way, guys. The new pattern uh, window is available now in Photoshop 2020. It saves me a lot of time. It's really, really useful. Got a lot more tutorials coming up. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.